Today we're removing the gas tank out of the 2003 DLT 3000 Craftsman lawnmower. All right, to get started on this side, we're gonna take a half inch socket and remove the bolts for these pedals. And take them out of the step here. And then we're gonna thread the bolts right back into the hole they came out of so that we don't lose them and we know where they go. You might have to adjust the pedals. Get your gun up in there to get the second one. And again, we're going to pull it right out, set it to the side, and replace the bolts. And we're going to go ahead with a 916 socket. We're going to take up this little plastic piece here. We're going to hold the carriage bolt so it doesn't pop up. And we're going to remove the nut on the bottom. So that the fender comes loose. And we're going to wiggle it around to get this carriage bolt out of the way. We're going to Put the nut back on it so we don't lose it. And then we're gonna take a, another 9 16 socket back on the impact and remove these three bolts for clearance when we wanna take the fenders off. And now it's free and we'll move on to the other side. So now moving on with this side, we're going to unbolt the bracket that holds the step on against the frame. And just like the last one, it's a carriage bolt, and we'll have to hold the back side of the bolt so it stays in the slot. And we'll go ahead and remove it. Put the nut back on so we don't lose it, and set it off to the side. And then we're going to, again, take these lower bolts off. So we have clearance to remove the fenders when we get to that point. And now we're going to move on to the bolts up by the seat. So now up under the seat with our 916 socket still, we're going to remove the bolts in the springs. We're going to set those off to the side now. And we're going to remove the plug for the safety switch under your seat. And the best way I've found to get the little plastic holders out is put a pair of side cutters up underneath them and just twist them out and they normally pop right out for you. So now we're going to tuck the wire up under the fender so we don't catch it when we pull them off. We're going to remove the gas cap as well. We're going to go ahead and pull the seat down, see if we can get the fenders to pull off. So now we're down to the gas tank. We're gonna go ahead and take our 916 socket and a small extension, and we're gonna remove the two bolts that are on each side of the strap, being careful for the ground that's on this one, and removing it from the bolt so that we don't pull it off. And we're gonna go ahead and go to this other side and do the same thing. Now we're gonna remove the strap from the tank. to let go. Now we're going to inspect the tank for leaks because this was losing gas severely. And the way it looks, our hose is broke down here. So I'm going to go ahead and get a hose and replace it and we'll go back together. Alright, so you can see here I replaced the gas line all the way up to the filter. So we're going to go ahead and set the tank back in position. And we'll put the bracket back on with the bolts in the front hole. And also don't forget your ground wire for your switch. Make sure all the the dirt and 
Corrosion's cleaned off so you get a good ground. Let me put it back together. And now we're gonna grab the fenders. So now you're just gonna take your fenders and slide them right back on the way we took them off. Wiggle them a little bit to get them seated down. We're gonna make sure our wire gets pulled up through. We're gonna take our seat springs with the bolts in them and get those drawn down. Put the little wire holders back in and plug the switch in for your safety on your seat and put your gas cap back on so you don't get anything down in your gas tank. Now we'll move on to the steps. All right, so with this step, we're going to take our carriage bolt, and my step has moved up just a little bit, so I'm going to push down on it to make sure my holes lined up. And I'm going to just get in and I'm going to make sure that it's pushed all the way through so that my the square head is in the hole so it doesn't spin on me. And I'm going to go ahead and start the nut on my fingers and I'm going to take my 9 swivel and extension to get up under it. Now we're going to take the three side bolts that we took out for clearance. We're going to run those back in as well. And go back to the other side. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do to get this side back together is we're going to take the carriage bolt and we're going to stick it back through the step on the inside hole and make sure it goes down through the bracket and with the nut in your other hand start it down there on it get it finger tight and go ahead and take your 9 16 socket and ratchet and to make sure it doesn't move on you just put your finger on the top so it's make to make sure it's down in the key and tighten it down all right and just push the little plugs back down in to get your step to stay And now we're going to move on to the 9 16 bolts that we took out for clearance. Just going to run those right back in. And then we're going to take our half socket and our pedals. And we're going to start with the pedal that's furthest to the inside. We're going to remove our bolts that we put back in. We're going to slide it in there. And finger start our bolts in so we don't cross thread them. And run them on with the gun. Take our other bolt out and grab the reverse pedal. And start that bolt by fingers again. And 
and run it in with your impact. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I appreciate it. If there's anything else you guys would like to see fixed or worked on on this lawnmower, let me know in the comments.